Welcome over to Automotive World, everyone. I'm your host, Eddie Mystery, and we have a huge story coming out of Ford. Another recall. Ford just is not having a lot of luck. It's, it's one recall after another. We have it on some pretty popular models here, affecting Ford Mavericks from 2022 to 2024, certain Mavericks from 2020 to 2022, certain Ford Escapes, and from 2021 to 2022, certain Ford or Lincoln Corsair vehicles. Um, and Ford is issuing this recall here due to a software error which, which may cause loss of drive power. Um, the specific recall here is for the hybrid vehicles. The hybrid power control or how, um, excuse me, the hybrid powertrain control module software which may cause the vehicle to shift into neutral unexpectedly causing a loss of drive power. Um, the remedy, Ford does have a remedy up here. Dealers will update the software free of charge. Owner notification letters are expected to be mailed by May 23rd of this month. Currently it is the 15th, so Ford does have about another week or so to do that. Um, this is a bit interesting. This is not the first, you know, Ford has been on kind of on a roll with recalls and you know, this is not the first time we've seen this kind of recall from Ford. Um, Ford was recently in the news when our last recall, when we covered it um, for the cracked cylinder head, uh, Ford issuing the recall and then not actually following up on the recall correctly by fixing the cracked cylinder head. Um, this is a bit interesting. We don't unfortunately have any specific uh, numbers in terms of has anyone you know, been affected. Or we do have, you know, potentially 8,727 units, but we don't know if this has actually caused any sort of crashes or incidents or things like that. Um, we do know that it does cause a loss of drive power, which is obviously, you know, monumental for a number of reasons. And whether you're driving in a city or on the highway, um, it's a very, very dangerous situation to put yourself in to shift into neutral like that unexpectedly. Um, not only obviously is it dangerous safety wise because of the loss of drive power, um, but, you know, trying to then steer that case and also even I mean, just going back into neutral unexpectedly, that can cause a lot of damage to those transmissions going at, you know, various types of speed and then, you know, inadvertently or unexpectedly going into neutral. So, like I said, this is not the, uh, the first time Ford has had these type of recalls. Ford has been, unfortunately, a bit on a bit of a roll with these kind of recalls. Um, this one, though, is, you know, just like the last one, it is affecting certain Maverick models, it is affecting certain Escape models and Corsair models. Um, these are pretty popular models here for Ford. Ford does have the remedy, like I said, under here, and they will start mailing uh, letters by May 23rd of this month. Um, I do bring up the crack cylinder head, you know, recall, though, just because it is a bit interesting. We will actually see this time. Um, does Ford actually fix the issue correctly, which it sounds like they will because um, it sounds like here It's just a software issue according to them and they are going to do a software update obviously free of charge You know this being a recall um, But it is a bit interesting. We'll have to see you know how this further progresses um, This you know, it just sucks for a lot of reasons like I said Ford's been on you know kind of a tear with recalls just one after another uh, this being you know affecting you know models like the Maverick and the Escape um, Especially models like the Maverick 2022 to 2024, the Maverick's been in a super popular model. Um, it's been still really hard to get for a lot of people, especially at a good price. And obviously, you know, going from, you know, we're going one star down on the safety rating. So Ford does have a remedy for this. Um, we'll have to see, obviously, how this remedy turns out. Um, it's not too many potential vehicles that are affected, just under 10,000 8, 8,727. But this is a little bit unfortunate, especially for those who are buying Ford hybrid vehicles. So that's going to do it for our video. And for now, everyone, um, please let me know if you guys have a Ford Maverick. If you do have, if one of, if your specific unit is affected, uh, please let me know what you think of this type of recall. Um, have you had any other issues with your Ford? But that's going to do it for now, everyone. Thanks for watching.